Hello guys, welcome back to Ventilate. Hope you had a good weekend. As I am in Australia, it is towards the night time of the weekend on Sunday. So I am going to show you what I have done. So I decided not to post anything too early this time. Instead of posting two videos, I keep it and condense into one in order to prove a very simple point. The point is that farm level 10. All right, so as you can see, I'm number five, not number four. Uh, the guy number four, whatever. Good luck to them. Happy for them that they got whatever they wanted. However, for me, my main point is to be able to farm a progression reward. This is key, okay? That's all I'm worried about. I'm not too worried about all of these things because at the end of the day, you look at it, it's just a bit of extra here and there. It really doesn't change too much, right? Unless you're heading for number one, it changes a lot. So long story short, doesn't matter. Progression reward is what we want. That is where we want to get to. Okay, here I am, got my progression reward. As you can see, more and more people are getting a progression reward. All of the top 10 people have the progression reward. It is becoming more and more known now how to play it. And it is really, really crazy to see how fast things are changing. So if you're not up to date to it, you better get up to date to it. Uh, the name is O-R-C-A Orca. Make sure you understand what that means. If you don't, go into Reddit, tap titans to Orca, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, next thing is I did not join this tournament until a lot later. I only have 12 hours left for the tournament. So once you join the tournament, you do have another 12 hours, sorry, 24 hours for you to be able to play the tournament. And so that way, if you don't hit a whale, uh, if anyone's around your competition area, that you can potentially beat them and outplay them and outwin them. Okay, let's see. Come on, come on. Okay. There is a couple of whales in my thing. However, I might be able to get close to them. I don't know. So what I have done is I did not do anything crazy. I've just been farming, farming, farming. I did not use any of it. Um, I've w kept it ready to go, but did not use it. So what I mean is this, I haven't summoned any of this. So I can go one, two, three summons, and I should be quite up, high up there. And guys, unfortunately with this, you really just have to go through one step at a time. It really doesn't change anything. It might affect in the short term, but at the end of the day, you're not gonna be able to change a whole lot. I didn't get anything new. All of it's still the same. Titans, and there we go, guys. I have a new monument to choose. I don't know which one to choose just yet. You know what, I'm just gonna give him a night pass. It is what it is. All right, there we go, midnight pass as well. And if it's bad, guys, all I have to do is go back to it, salvage it, spend 2,000 gold on it, and be able to get to us the next thing. All right, so guys, I am going to upgrade what I have to. Wait, where is that bad boy? Was it at the top? Oh no, it's at the bottom. Boom, boom, boom. Where is that? Okay. Reason why I am showing you this is that I have farmed enough about, say, four or five days worth of amount of, uh, what do they call them now? Not relics, what do we call these bad boys again? What do we call these guys? I can't keep up with all the names, guys. It, this is just getting ridiculous. Memento, that's right, Memento. So I have been collecting a lot of Memento. I've been collecting it, not using it, trying to build up just like the old technique of how to build up uh, your abilities so that when you scale, you scale a whole lot higher rather than anything low. So let's see where we can scale up to today. Um, it is going to be quite a bit. So I would say that we should be able to hit 34, sorry, 340,000. I don't really see us uh, having any problem with hitting that. And currently it is at about 330,000 as my max. So another 10K shouldn't be too far off from the books as we did get a new memento and that should help us. You know what? I'm gonna make my life a bit easier because I'm doing a video. Guys, sometimes you just have to use it, all right? Don't just save, save, save like me. I've been saving this for years. Hence, that's why you see that I haven't used any of it and I still have a significant amount of it. So I, I can't be asked like tapping, right? If you keep tapping, 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 you're gonna be wasting all that energy for what, all right? Oh yeah, actually, let me get a bit more of that. You know what, I'm gonna start farming like crazy tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, boy. All right, there we go. That way, I don't have to do any of that tapping. It just automatically does it. I cannot be asked, guys. Tap, 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 because, it, okay, so here's another thing you gotta remember. When you get to the transcendence level, you do go through a lot higher levels a whole lot faster. And when you do so, you're gonna have a lot more upgrading. And the thing is, when you go from Daemon the Darkness over here, 
and you jump towards the very first hero you do get in playing this game, which is Maya, it suddenly becomes a whole lot more um, heroes that you can upgrade because it, it does scale that way. That is easier for you to upgrade the next guy. And so you have a lot of tapping to do. And if you're trying to push, 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 the last thing you want to do is tapping on every single one of them. It just takes way, 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 way too much time for you to do that. So instead of doing that, it's very important to get that and just farm through it. All right, so another technique you can use, which I'm going to show you right here, is that you got to make sure that one of your things has ta -ta -ta -ta, mana boost, okay? With mana boost, that's gonna help you get back a whole lot of mana so that you're able to push a whole lot further because it's still quite early in the stages. I think 330 is where my max is, so I don't want to spoil it. As you can tell, my mana is going down very, very quickly. So you just wanna be able to farm that mana back up and least get up to about 12,000, hopefully. Oh, actually it's starting to eat up my mana quite quickly. So I don't think that's gonna be possible. And the moment I see I hit a new stage increase, then I am going to go back to using the other big boy, okay? So guys, so basically the game is very, very simple. You farm, 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 farm. And when you're ready, you take and reap the reward and wait to be the whale, okay? Um, sometimes you will have bigger whales than that, where you just literally can't, you just cannot beat them. It's like you trying to, you know, Play with your little stocks while trying to beat JP Morgan. It is not gonna work, guys. They're BlackRock, Vanguard, State Street. If you guys know, you know. <laughs> um, you're not gonna beat them, all right? They're gonna be the biggest investors. They're gonna be the biggest wheels out there. They control the market. They know exactly what's going on. So your little stocks aren't gonna do much. Your videos may have 10 million subscribers, 10 million people talking to you, 10 million people investing. You will still not beat them, all right? I believe they have about, I don't know how many trillions of dollars under investment. So in the same way, some of these guys, they have so much on you. And plus then one thing is they can have money and use money to, to get what they need to. And you're just not gonna be able to win. Hence, that's why some people got really pissed off with the game at the very early start of the game, where people were using a lot of money to be able to farm and get to number one and winning and people were getting quite upset. For me, like, look, it's the benefit to the game, you know? If they're spending money on it, the developers get the money. The developers get the money, they're gonna be able to do a better game. So I really don't don't mind losing in a game like that because I'm not spending that kind of crazy money. A bit of money here and there, why not, right? If you wanna buy the season thing, go for it. I think it's, it's a good thing, you know? Support the developers as you're having a lot of fun. Why not? I've done that once or twice before. I can't remember if I, I don't remember when I bought the, the thing, but it was a long time ago. And I remember even buying pets. You know how ridiculous that sounds, guys? Buying pets. It means absolutely less than one cent today. And I remember buying it because I just started getting a job, was playing this game, and I said, hey, this is a really, really well-developed game. And this was back in the days, we're talking about seven years ago. And so this game has actually transcended into a whole new level, guys. Just like this transcendence thing. <laughs> um, so they're doing well. And I, I would say that this company does deserve a lot more um, people supporting them than actually get, getting um, shit for. Um, I know a lot of people, you know, oh yeah, this game is a pay to play, pay to play, pay to play, pay to win game, pay to win, pay to win game. Guys, look, it's no problem. Let them pay to win. It is fine. You're going to reap the rewards of enjoying the game. Since you haven't contributed a single dollar, I don't think you should speak that much, okay? So that's just my personal opinion. However, it is up to you where you are. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna hit like 335,000. Well, I don't have the... Okay, let me get this one. Get this straight, okay. Gonna need a little bit more skill books, that is for sure. Uh, come on, baby, show me the money. Hold oh, no. on, let me just get the mana back. Get some mana back. And once we get the mana, and if the contracts come up, I wanna see if I can push a little bit more. I know I'm being greedy, guys. I'm being very, very greedy. What I'm trying to do is farm up my mana, wait for the contracts to come out, and when the contracts come out, I should be able to push a whole lot more. Sorry, guys, bear with me. Sometimes you just cannot push it. You just have to wait for it. It is unfortunate. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Mm -hmm. Let's go, let's see if we can push any more. There you go. See, that is the power of contract, guys. Absolutely amazing. And you guys, if you ever wanna ask what helps with pushability, this is your pushing ability, all right? Just being able to have that literally changes the game. Look at that, from 335, I am climbing and climbing and climbing. 
We're only just getting higher at this. Okay. So we... Oh, man. I hate it when they do this, guys. The moment you're trying to hit the next stage, right? They just have to... Silliness of, I don't know, there's this like circle of death thing that just keeps going and going and going instead of just letting us just level it up. Okay, come on, come on. Don't lose momentum. Don't lose the momentum. Uh, okay, I think we lost the momentum. Uh, skills are losing out right now. Can we push one more or no? Okay, one more. Come on. Upgrade them, bad boys. Okay, so that is the limit guys. I was being greedy and here I am. I have pushed the limit and I am pretty sure we are there. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so that's it guys. Uh, that's where the limit's at. This is the new max stage and I have a bit of work to do. I'm gonna see if I can get up to where these guys are. I won't be sure until we get there, but I will try. Okay guys, thank you all very much for uh, watching the video. Hope you had a great weekend. Wishing you all the very best. Help drop a little like at the bottom, help subscribe and push the algorithm to the, to the stratosphere guys. And I'll catch you later in the next one. Bye bye.